about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pump Chasers, and you already know. Go to TigerFitness.com and get those Pump Chasers sucks. Shout outs, much love, and thank you to everybody that's been supporting. We had us a great Labor Day weekend. Thanks to the supporters. Guys, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. Thank you times a million, all right? So let's get to today's video, okay? First and foremost, guys, y'all know me. If you've been following me since 2012, just think about it like this. Count the videos from this channel and the videos from my other channel, Physiques of Greatness, the POG channel. I got well over a thousand videos combined. How many of those videos are drama based? How many of those videos are drama based? Exactly. I don't really like drama. I like teaching people how to work out, showing what I'm eating, connecting with you guys. That's what I'm about. I'm not about the bullshit, but don't get it fucked up. When the bullshit come my way, I stay ready. Keep that in mind. So, with that said, guys, I saw a Kali Muscle live stream. I was actually DM this video, okay? And I was like, okay, you know, Kali Muscle's probably gonna, you know, say his usual shit, you know, talking shit about people who do creatine, talking shit about people who eat meat, you know, the usual Kali Muscle shit these days. But this Kali muscle, this Kali muscle was a little different. And all my paperwork, bitch. You think I'm a lie or something like that, boy? Stupid, nigga. You stupid for views, boy. Yeah, I'm have I'm out here have doing pranks, having fun, messing around. When it's time to get serious, we get serious. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We get serious. Get it twisted, boy. It reminded me of the old Kali Muscle. You know, back in the day where he'll get on there talking shit about the tampon boys. That old, that, that, that OG Kali Muscle. The video was pretty entertaining, I'm not gonna lie. I grew up around guys like Kali Muscle. It was kind of entertaining, but it was also a little sad. Because here I am, I must respond because my name was mentioned. He was on video just ranting away. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Ranting away, talking about people, taunting people, and then my name was mentioned. I was like, oh shit. Hey, Cuban, Cuban, whatever your fucking name is, I'm talking about everybody you listen to. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah, Chris fucking do deuce bag, fucking Mac whole truck, nigga, all of them, nigga. Then my name was mentioned, so here I am responding, guys. One thing about me, I'm all about peace and love, but I don't really like my name being mentioned in a disrespectful way, especially when that person has high influence on others. So here we are, baby. I'm responding. Low key, I was a little surprised that my name was even mentioned in that way. Because at the end of the day, go watch those videos of me talking about the watermelon challenge. I was not disrespectful, did not call him out his name. I did that on purpose. I even apologized if he felt offended. I did that on purpose for a reason that I'm not going to get into. However, my name was still mentioned in a disrespectful manner. Mm -mm -mm. I also said in my video, fats are essential. Our body makes cholesterol through the liver naturally, which is fats in the blood. But we also need essential fats for hormone production, brain function, the list goes on. Fats are essential for a reason. That's why they're called essential fats. What does essential mean? Something you need, like water. Something you need is essential, like the air you breathe. Essential means needed. These are facts, not attacks. See, facts are not attacks. We need facts. And damn it, those are the facts. So I was very surprised. Not only that, in this live stream, Kylie literally said out his own mouth, I'm now eating avocados. I wonder why. 
You essential fat, Chris Jones. That was a fucking essential fat. Nigga, I eat avocados. Now. Nigga, I eat avocados. Now. Nigga, I eat avocados. Now what? So, again, I'm a little surprised that my name was mentioned in this matter, but it's cool. Here I am responding. Also, keep in mind, Kali Muscle has done several things I don't agree with. He's embarrassed himself on several occasions. Never once did I make a video about it because at the end of the day, it was just typical shit. This situation is a little different with the whole watermelon challenge, the whole fruitarian stuff he's doing, the, the plant-based stuff he's doing. All this is new because for one, he used to be hardcore into bodybuilding. Like a lot of us, I'm pretty sure if you watch me, to some degree, you're in the working out. You're in the lifting weights, you're in the building muscle. That's bodybuilding. You might not be a competitive bodybuilder, that's a small percentage of the audience, but to some degree, we all have a love for bodybuilding. So we're literally watching Kali Muscle transform right before our eyes. What Kali Muscle is doing, it's almost cult-like. It's almost cult-like. He's even using fear-mongering. You better stop eating this. You better stop eating that. Or this will happen to you. Even using fear tactics to get you on his path. Cult-like behavior. This is quite funny, actually. Quite funny, actually, because if you're familiar with the Kali Muscle story, right? Kali Muscle's father. He said this many times on several occasions. Kali Muscle's father was actually part of a cult. If any of you guys are familiar with Jim Jones, Jim Jones was a cult leader in the 70s, I believe. He He's convinced himself that he is some sort of superhuman martyr. Jones persuaded nearly a thousand followers to move to a remote jungle in Guyana. The concept was to build a new world. A socialist utopia. Jonestown was described as this paradise, and it was not. He was a cult leader, long story short, he convinced his followers to drink Kool-Aid with poison in it as if to sacrifice themselves. This time, Jones served a punch spiked with cyanide. More than 900 died, 300 of them children. Jones shot himself. We know from autopsies conducted later that a considerable number of people were held and forcibly injected. He convinced his followers to do a group suicide. No bullshit. Fun fact, Kali Muscle's biological father was a part of this same cult. And he survived, he lived. Kali Muscle has spoken on this on several occasions. My real father, for anybody that knew about the Jonestown story, uh, you know, uh, don't drink the Kool-Aid, Jim Jones. Yeah, yeah. So my father, is, my real biological father is a survivor. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and That's so, intense. Yeah, yeah. So he's a survivor. He tried to get my mother to go, but she's a tough woman. She's like, I'm not going over there. Wow. And so my mom like, I'm not going over there. So he had another wife. Evidently, he was in uh, polygamy or something. Had another wife and kids and took them. And they died over there. They drunk the Kool-Aid. I've even seen him low-key clowning his father. Fast forward, things go full circle. You know, family curses are actually a real thing. Kali Muscle, fast forward, he's literally doing cult-like shit. Trying to build his own cult-like following. Throwing God in the mix. Kali Muscle literally recorded a video of himself in bed. Doing a live Q&A in bed with his audience and recorded himself sleeping and people watch this shit who the fuck watches a man go to sleep if that's not cult like behavior i don't know what the fuck is so you gotta be careful who you talk about be careful who you make fun of because quite frankly you could be doing the same shit in just a different way and you can't see it because it looks different Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It changes form. Like it or not, by every stretch of the definition, it looks like Kali is trying to build his own little cult-like following. And go ahead, brother. Kudos to you. But why the fuck do I got to be named in your little videos in a disrespectful manner? Because one thing about me, you throw stones at me, <sighs> I'm throwing stones right back. He calls himself a leader. 
well, look, there's different types of leaders, I guess. Maybe he is a leader. But in my opinion, anybody who's leading people to the promised land, leading people to greatness, you got to have a strong mind. And Kali Muscle has proven numerous times that he reacts before thinking. That's not the quality of a good leader. I'll just give you one. I could give you many examples. I could give you many. I'm going to just give you one example. Here's a video of him pulling a knife out on somebody. The, he's recording outside of the gym. The guy walks past the video. They get into a little back and forth. And Kali pulls out a knife. Goes bitters, man. We came giving them promotion, the advertisement. Excuse you, homie. Excuse you. Oh, my bad. You good? You good? Yeah, I'm good, too. Oh, yeah. I got to you You ain't got to tell me, homie. You good one, yeah, you good. What's up, man? Yeah. You good? What's up, man? Yeah. You good? What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah. Chill you out, good? bro. Okay, Yo, go. you need to chill. Tell me, chill out. Yeah, chill out, man. I don't want to talk. Let's go. 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 let you still talking. What do you want to talk about, bro? Don't put the knife on everything. Don't impress me, homie. Don't impress me, bro. What kind of low life shit is that? That looks like something out of a movie. Let me get my knife real quick. Yeah, you like that, don't you, buddy? Huh? Yeah, beat it, pal. Beat it, buddy. That's Carly Muscle. What kind of low life shit is that? Pull the knife? I mean, look, if you got a problem with somebody, I think it can be handled talking. You don't got to pull out a knife, but if you got to go there, why not throw hands? Why the fuck are you pulling out a knife? What kind of low life shit is that? Not to mention, again, he's supposed to be a leader. Remember, Kali Muscle is a convicted felon. Convicted felon. Been to prison twice. Shit like that. Could have got him locked up. You're trying to intimidate somebody and you're pulling out a weapon? I'm low-key surprised he didn't get charged with a crime or at the very least sued. If that boy, if that would have been me, oh man, I would have ate off that. That shit was on camera. Keep that in mind. This man is a felon. Convicted felon on camera. It's bad enough that he did it, but he did it on camera. Pulling out a knife, he could have. That's an easy lawsuit. Easy. Oh, I want a hundred and fifty thousand. But we can set out of court right now for twenty bucks. Man, get your punk ass up. It ain't even wet over here. Easy lawsuit. Look, I'm not condoning breaking laws, guys. But one thing I learned from being locked up. If you're going to do a crime, try to at least get away with it. If you're going to do something silly like that and pull out a knife, a fucking weapon to intimidate somebody, first, look around. Make sure ain't no witnesses around. Secondly, make sure no cameras are rolling. And if you're going to do what you do, I guess do what you do. I don't condone this shit, but if you're going to do this shit, try to get away with this shit. He's supposed to be an OG. Reacting without thinking, that is not a quality leader. I would have sued the shit out of Cal. Cal, I would have sued the shit out of you. You would have pulled knife out of me like that on camera? Oh my God. I would have been in that courtroom. Yes, you, ah, you ought to, ah. Ever since this man pulled that knife out on me, I've been having nightmares, I can't sleep. My woman's cooking. I don't want her using no knives. She can only use forks. Knives scare the shit out of me, please. Ah! This is affecting my heart. I've been having heart complications because my anxiety has gone up. I think I need counseling. I, I think I need time off of work. I need money to, to make up for those wages that I'm missing out on. I can't be around people. Anytime I see somebody with some big ass veneers for teeth, some big ass white ass veneers, I get scared! Ah! Oh, I would've got paid. Them crackies, cookies you selling? Those cookies you can't even eat, by the way. Simple sugars, by the way. I would've owned a huge share in your business. You would've been paying me monthly and sending me free cookies because I'm bulking, bro! I'm bulking, bro!
Hey, Brooke, I'm about to eat all this watermelon. I'm bulking. I'm bulking. You know I like the bulk. You know I like the bulk. When the time's coming, I want free khakis cookies, and I want a check every month. Boy, that, whoever that man was, that white man you pull the knife out on, God bless him. He much be He better than me. I would have sued the shit out of Cali Muscle. He has clearly proven with his own actions numerous times on camera. Goodness, if this is how he acts on camera, could you imagine off camera? Just think about that for a minute. Think about that. If this is him on camera, woo! I can only imagine off. Mind you, this guy's in his 40s, late 40s. So if anybody running around here thinking he's some type of leader, fine. I mean, I don't agree, but if he's your leader, fine. Is this your king? Is this your king? Huh? Is this your king? Speaking of leaders, he's leading this watermelon challenge, right? About a week or so ago, he literally passed out at Venice Beach. Literally passed out. I, you can't make this shit up. I even warned you guys to say, hey, you're going to do this watermelon challenge. Keep in mind, if you're doing a lot of work, a, little, a lot of strenuous work, you might want to think about that. That's all I said. Notice he passed the fuck out. Apparently, at almost 50 years old, I think he's 48, he had no idea that training in the hot sun fasted doing muscle ups and shit was not a good idea. Apparently he didn't know that, but he's supposed to be a leader. He's supposed to lead y'all to greatness, lead y'all to the promised land. He didn't even know proper fueling and hydration protocols for training in the sun, but he's supposed to be a leader. So with that said, I honestly guys, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I don't give a fuck what Kylie Muscle thinks of me. Not even a little bit. I'm only responding because my name was mentioned and people that fuck with me saw that my name was mentioned and I gotta let them know. I'm here, baby. I'm only making this video because there's people out there who literally still value his opinion. They still value his opinion. Some of those people watch him and some of those people watch me and I gotta let them know what's up. I'm doing this for the people. Before I tell you, I don't give a fuck what Kylie Muscle think about me. His word is no good. His word is no good. When your word is no good, when the shit that come in your mouth, I don't give a fuck. I take what you say with a grain of salt. I don't give a fuck what he think about me. His word is no good because quite frankly, he's been on camera numerous times. I've caught him in lies numerous times. And I caught him contradicting himself numerous times. I'll give you one example. I can give you several, by the way. I can, ooh, I can give you several. I keep, I keep them receipts, baby. I can give you several, but I'm gonna give you a couple. Here's one example of a lie right here. Check this out. That's a fallacy. Ever since I was a kid, I said that didn't even sound right. Me and my partners got jacked and swole off carbs. You know what I mean? Uh, when I was in prison, I didn't have protein. I had top ramen, honey buns. You know, and uh, went years with just that. It came out jacker than everybody. So as you see, he said he was in prison. And all he ate was ramen. I even saw a clip where he said he didn't even go to the chow hall. You know, the cafeteria. In prison, guys, they have cafeteria. They serve you three square meals a day. He claims he never went to the cafeteria. He only ate his ramen. I don't need that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did 11 years in prison with no protein. You ate with protein. They, they, huh? they, feed you some, they feed you a little bit of protein in there. You know, it's, it's shit protein. They, they wouldn't give you feed protein. me. I never went to that canteen. I was a shot caller, but boy, I didn't need to go to the canteen. They, you, you, weren't had to go to, packets? you had to go to the cafeteria. You weren't eating tuna and mackerel packets? You weren't eating tuna and mackerel packets? Which one? You didn't eat the mackerel, the mackerel packets? Hell no, nothing that prison was offering. You don't need protein. I've done years in prison off of ramen alone. Those are his words, not mine. I guess Kylie must have a terrible memory because my memory, this head ain't big for nothing, by the way. This head, I have a damn good memory. I clearly remember Kylie Muscle. We recorded together some years back. 
Ah! Ah! Yeah! Money and muscle! It don't stop! We in Texas get this money! Ah! Yeah. Insane, insane, or remain the same. Right. I cannot stress that enough, man. I train to shine. That's I right. train and grind. Right. I train like I done lost my goddamn mind. We recorded together some years back, and after we worked out in Metroflex, it was myself, Vince Garza, Big J, and Kali. We talked about his prison life. Not only did we talk about his prison life, he mentioned Top Ramen and Tuna. And then he pulled out some Top Ramen and Tuna at the restaurant. He also mentioned on video on numerous occasions that he would eat Top Ramen and Tuna. Good carbs is what he called it. When I got to San Quentin, that's when I started to really blossom and grow because I was eating Dunkin' Sticks, Honey Buns, Top Ramen and Tuna Spread, Top Ramen and Tuna Spread, Top Ramen and Tuna Spread, and I was huge, I was 2.30. Those were his words, not mine. And there's also videos on YouTube years back of people giving their opinions. But anyways, a lot of people are talking about how he achieved his physique, his muscles, which is top moment and tuna, and his prison style training. So right there, he lied. For what? Why are you lying about shit you don't even gotta lie about? See, you could do great things in this world, guys. You can do incredible things in this world. There's great power within you. But one thing we cannot do is change the past. I mean, you can lie about the past, but you can't change the past. Just call him in a lie. His word is no good. Anybody that's lying about some shit that you don't even got to lie about, that's weird shit. That's, that's some weirdo shit. I'm just, I'm just going to call it what it is. That's fucking weird. He likes to talk about demons. People fucking with him are demons. Y'all listen to demons, boy. I'm here by God. Well, there's an old saying that goes, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar you just lied and remember guys i got numerous examples that's just one that's just one you know hopefully i won't have to make a part two but if i do may i mention some more you know also the devil is a master of deception he's a master of deception here's a video of Kali literally in the past lifting fake weights fake weights in the video he throws some real plates on with some fake plates. Why would you do that? Because he wants to look more impressive than he really is. Period. Show me, show me who strong, who rips year round, who's doing his thing world international wide. Not being cocky, arrogant, his confidence. Nobody stop us now! <laughs> Can't nobody stop us! Not only is he lying, but he's lifted fake weights, disrespecting the art of bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is a discipline backed by all universal laws and principles. This is a sin, a bodybuilding sin, lifting fake weights. The devil is a liar and the devil is a master of deception. Painting illusions, painting illusions for the audience to lift himself up for his ego. I'm not being cocky. I'm not being cocky. I'm not being cocky. So again, caught him on camera lying. And this was recent. He lied recently about his past. You ate top ramen and tuna. Tuna for your protein. There is absolutely nothing you can say to change that. 
period. That will never change. No matter how bad you want it to change. You did Top Ramen and Tuna point blank, period. Now, for the hypocrite. Like I said, I got one example of him lying for you and I'm going to give you one example of him contradicting himself being a hypocrite. Here's this right here. And hey, and if any man on the internet talk about any other man, he is simple as that. <laughs> as you see, he said if you talk about other men, you're gay. Yes, bitch, yes, you're gay. You're gay, we talk about other men, okay. I don't agree with that shit, by the way. Keep in mind, this is not a fact. This is Kali Muscle's opinion. See, we gotta, we gotta understand the difference, guys, between fact and opinion. This is Kali Muscle's opinion. His opinion is, if you talk about other men, you're gay. Fine. Look at this clip right here. They say I'm crazy all over the internet. They say I'm leading, leading people astray because I'm telling them not to eat the dead food. Ooh, you know, everybody in the world, bodybuilders, everybody eat bad food. I just saw Tristan Lee, Tristan Lee, Tristan Lee, all that acidic food, beef, chicken, turkey, all of it is acidic, messing up your system. White rice, clogging you up. As you see, he mentioned Tristan Lee. Last time I checked, Tristan Lee is over 18. That makes him a man. Tristan Lee did not mention your name first. Therefore, you mentioned this man's name. Critiqued an other man. Mentioned an other man that wasn't even thinking about you. So by your definition alone, not mine, your words, not mine, that makes you gay. If any man on the internet talk about any other man, he is... Congratulations, Kylie. You just played yourself with your own words. See, this is why we got to watch our tongue. At the beginning was the word. The tongue is powerful. That tongue is a motherfucker. They tell you it could speak life or death for a reason. Even the Hindus, throat chakra. You got to watch what you say with that throat chakra because the shit might come back and shock you. You got to watch what you say with that tongue. Your words, not mine. That makes you gay. Look at this video right here. It's called Why Influencers Are Lying To You. And notice on the thumbnail, there are other influencers on there. And if you watch the video, he's literally using other people's clips. So not only do you mention other people's names, but you're using other people's content to bring them down, to lift yourself up. Because let's be real here. You've been caught lying numerous times. Why the fuck are you calling people out for lying? So by your own words, not mine, this makes you gay. See, this is what we call a hypocrite. This is what we call a hypocrite. He likes to quote Jesus a lot. You know Jesus didn't like hypocrites. You might want to pick your Bible up, brother. One thing, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect, but what we would not do is be hypocrites. Okay, hypocrites are some of the worst people to be around. Those are some of the worst people to be around. Let me read this quote by Jesus for you guys. How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? Woo! You hypocrite! I like that word. You hypocrite! First, take the plank out your own eye, and then you will see clearly, clearly, to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Woo! Woo, I feel it. That powerful message. We have so many hypocrites in this world. Kali's one of them. By his own actions, this is, not, this is not my opinion. By his own actions, he's a hypocrite, period. At the end of the day, Kali, if you watch this video, I mean, I can't speak for anybody else, but me personally, I am not your enemy. Low key again, I'm surprised my name was even mentioned in that manner. I've been on YouTube since what, 2012? Remember that Iron Addicts Miami situation? Drug bust? Where they popped the guy who was selling steroids out of that gym and your name came up and your stack, the stack you was using came up? So many people were making videos for the views. I never said a word. 
And let me tell you, I could have got so many views with the shit I would have said. I didn't say a word. There are just some things I'm not going to do. Again, I commented on the watermelon challenge because it's an interesting topic. Period. I never made a video about the Iron Addicts Miami shit talking about your stack. That was a hot topic, by the way. I'm not your enemy. I admit, there are a lot of people who don't like you, despise you even. I have gotten DMs over the years with receipts of people wanting me to expose you. I've even gotten DMs in the past, and you know I love keeping receipts. I've gotten DMs in the past from a lady named Divine. I know you remember Divine, don't you? You remember Divine? Your old manager? You remember Divine, don't you? Let's just say, brother, I got some Divine. Divine knowledge. You know, you like talking about this book you wrote. I'm quoting you, I'm paraphrasing here, but something along the lines of everything's in my book. I guarantee you the things that were told to me are not in this book. Again, I got divine knowledge. Never put the shit out for views. Because again, I'm not your enemy. I'm not somebody who's using your name for clout. Again, I'm not your enemy, Kylie. So let's get back to this leadership shit because this shit's pretty interesting to me. He claims to be this leader, right? He's literally on a live stream calling me in pussies. Oh. Yeah, go tell pussy ass Mark Lowline and all the mother pussies. You see the highest views? All of, them, all of them that talk about me got the highest views on that video. Pussies, nigga. Yeah, order six, you pussy. Yeah, you giving up money to sound stupid, boy. He giving up his money to sound stupid. <laughs> Thanks for your money, pussy. Calling me and pussies. Bragging about how rich he is and how broke everybody else is. Making gay jokes, disrespecting bodybuilding when he used to be a bodybuilder himself. Making gay jokes. Nigga, that, they worry about size like a pussy. You sound like you go get on this dick, nigga. <laughs> Josh Roberts, thank you. Oh, he's big. Oh, I don't want him to cut between my butt cheeks. Oh, I don't want him to cut between my butt cheeks. Body, you, 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 the bodybuilder you want to make love to. I look better now. Off water, man. <laughs> the whole time, his son is present. Now, I'm not going to post his son. If you want to see that, go watch the whole live stream. But look at this clip right here. Daddy. Kali Musa, that's right, baby. They jealous on the internet of your daddy. They jealous of your daddy. Doing all of this shit while his son... Now, look. What you do when you're home is your business. But when you post shit online... That leaves the door open for conversation. That leaves the door open for criticism. That leaves the door open for people having an opinion. Guys, do you, is this the kind of leadership we're looking for? Is this your game? Huh? I'm not claiming to be father of the year here, but damn. Is this your king? Is this the leader y'all been waiting for? How can you get on camera confidently making gay jokes when there's literally pictures of you on gay websites? Guys, Google at your own risk. I'm not telling you to do it, but I gotta hit the facts. Google Chuck Basher. In the past, Kali Muscle has done gay photo shoots for payment under the model name Chuck Basher. Guys, look at your own risk. I'm gonna post this picture on the screen just to give you a little example. And keep in mind, this picture isn't even the most disturbing. He over here flexing his biceps with his cheeks out. I have, to, I have to cover the cheeks out with a notepad emoji. I use the notepad emoji because I want you to take the notes. Take the notes. He's literally got pictures online with his cheeks out, his dick out, wearing see-through shirts and his shit. And he got the nerve to crack some gay jokes. You are disqualified from making, in my opinion, of course, this is not a fact, but in my opinion, when you got pictures like this online, you are disqualified from life for a life from ever cracking a gay joke, in my opinion. 
They say the love, the love of money is the root of all evil. As you see, Kali Muscle took the bait. He over here with his cheeks out for the love of money. I know you didn't do that shit for fun. You did it for funds. I don't do this shit for fun. I do this shit for the funds. They say the love, the love of all money is the root of all evil. And I believe that shit. The proof's in the pudding. Money and muscle by any means necessary. Hey, man. I respect that shit. I ain't gonna lie. One thing I respect is a motherfucker who live what they speak. He says money and muscle by any means. He has shown you with his actions. That he's about that money and muscle by any means. He over here wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> he said money and muscles by any means. He's wearing a thong pulled down, wearing skinny jeans. Chuck Basher sounds like a gay ass name. Who, who came up with that name? Chuck Basher. You want your cheeks bashed in real good? You gotta call Chuck Basher. That sounds like a gay ass name. Again, you're disqualified from making gay jokes. That's my opinion. If you anybody disagree with that shit, comment below. I honestly believe when you got pictures like this online, you can never make a gay joke as long as you're alive. Period. He says, I wrote about it in my book. I got nothing to hide. First off, you only told people because of the whole Old Navy situation. We're not going to get into that. He told people because he knew the information was going to come out anyway. And quite frankly, somebody that has been caught in lies, I don't want to read a book that they wrote about their own life themselves. Somebody that has been caught in lies, has been caught deceiving others, I am not gonna read their book that they wrote themselves about themselves, period. And what makes this shit even funnier, I mean, some of the jokes write themselves. That's why I love the universe. What makes this shit even funnier, he's bragging about his outfit. Yeah, get my Versace hat. Got my Versace shorts. Take all your hoes, your baba, everybody, boy. <laughs> With the Versace hat mode in your whole fucking wardrobe, boy. With the Versace shorts. <laughs> broke boy, broke boy. They mad at me. He's wearing that shit with pride. No pun intended. Wearing that Versace with pride. I guess you don't know, or maybe you forgot. Versace was a gay designer. So here he is with his gay man hat, his gay man shorts, his gay pictures floating around online. So not only is he gay by definition with his own words, he's committed gay actions. Remember, actions speak louder than words. He says, read his book. I don't have to read your book, as they say. A picture says what? A thousand words. No need to read your book. That picture, those pictures say a thousand words each. There's several pictures online. Each picture says thousands of words. No need to read a book. I got pictures. By his own definition, he's gay. He has these gay pictures online and he's wearing gay designer clothes. Bragging about these gay designer clothes, I must add, with pride. Again, hypocrite, contradicting yourself. This is not leadership material. And got the nerve to talk about me in a disrespectful manner. Your words don't mean shit. Not over here. So anyway, guys, I think I've talked about this shit long enough. I could go no cap. I could go three hours straight talking about Kylie with facts, too. I don't got to notice in this video, I didn't tell one lie. I could go three hours straight Telling no, I don't gotta call nobody pussies or call them broke or none of that low vibrational shit. I just gotta stand on the truth and the truth alone. There is no need to insult nobody. And the best thing is, I can use your own words and actions against you, which makes it even more powerful. I don't gotta do anything low vibrational. You can tell where people are at mentally based off their insults. 48 year old man making insults like this tells me, it doesn't tell me everything I need to know, it doesn't tell me everything, but it tells me a lot.
Again, guys, I'm all about peace and love. Peace and blessings! Abundance! Love! You feel me? I don't like bullshit, but trust and believe I'm ready for what I'm ready for it when it comes. 100. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches and holler back at your boy. Peace.